So basically in order to do the 13th sum you should know cos 2 theta's formula is 2 cos square theta minus 1 taking the minus 1 this side cos 2 theta plus 1 is 2 cos square theta taking the 2 down this you wherever you see cos square theta you will write as 1 plus cos doubled angle by 2. Similarly cos 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sin square theta taking this side 2 sin square theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta and taking it down sin square theta is 1 minus cos doubled angle by 2. It is very very important what is it? Wherever you see cos square theta you write 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 wherever you see sin square theta you write as 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 you will double the angle here the theta becomes 2 theta a 40, 60 30 degree becomes 60 degree and so on. So, let us do the 13th sum cos square 2x minus cos square 6x six prove it to be equal to sin 4x into sin 8x. So, prove that sum so take only the left hand side 1 plus cos double the angle by 2 minus 1 plus cos double the angle by 2 take LCM 2 1 plus cos 4x minus 1 minus cos 12x so 1 and minus 1 get cancelled cos 4x minus cos 12x by 2 which is like cos c minus cos d. So, minus 2 sin sin cos c minus cos d is minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 c plus d by 2 will be 8x c minus d by 2 will be minus, minus 4x I told you sin of minus theta is minus sin theta. So, therefore, this minus can be removed 2 sin 8x into sin 4x by this 2 is coming down the 2 and 2 get cancelled thus you get sin 8x into sin 4x. 12th sum sin square 6x minus sin square 4x is equal to sin 2x into sin 10x. 1 minus cos double the angle by 2 minus 1 minus cos double the angle by 2 take LCM 1 minus cos 12x minus 1 plus cos 8x. So, 1 and minus 1 get cancelled thus you have cos 8x I am just rearranging minus cos 12x writing the positive first and the negative later by 2 cos c minus cos d again minus 2 sin sin c plus d by 2 is um, 8x plus 12x by 2 which is 20x by 2 which is 10x 8x minus 12x by 2 which is uh, minus 4x by 2 minus 2x. So, sin of minus theta is you know sin theta so 2 sin 10x sin 2x and this 2 is there by 2 so 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So, sin 10x into sin 2x will be your right hand side which is what you want. Next is sum 11th sum cos of 3 pi by 4 plus x minus cos of 3 pi by 4 minus x does not that sound like cos a plus b minus cos a minus b because this is the same angle here correct. Can you see there is a 3 pi by 4 and a 3 pi by 4 and can you see there is an x and an x. So, I can write it as cos a a, uh, a is a uh, yeah and b is in blue cos a plus b plus cos a minus b minus cos a minus b is minus 2 sin a sin b which is minus 2 sin 3 pi by 4 sin x because that is what is your a and b. Now, take this and solve ok what is sin 3 pi by 4 is 3 into 180 by 4 sin 45 which is sin of 45 3 is a 135 which can written as sin 180 minus 45 even integral so sin 45 which quadrant second quadrant so sin is positive which is 1 by root 2 or you can also write this as sin pi minus pi by 4 and pi is even integral because 180 is 2 into 90. So, you can also write like that. So, then for the answer for this is 1 by root 2 into sin x and root 2 and root 2 gets cancelled minus root 2 sin x is what you need to prove that is your proof you have to prove this to be equal to minus root 2 sin x and we have proved that. 10th sum sin of ok sin of n plus 1 into x into sin of n plus 2 into x plus cos of n plus 1 into x into cos of 
n plus 2 into x. You have to prove this to be equal to cos x, ok. It is a proof that sum again. This is like sin a sin b plus cos a cos b. Sin a sin b plus cos a cos b. You know cos a cos b plus sin a sin b is cos a minus b. And what is a? This is a and this is b. Correct? So, cos n x plus x, I am just bringing the x inside a, ok, minus n x plus 2 x which will become minus 2 x because this is central, there is a negative sign. So, n x and n x gets cancelled, cos of minus x is just cos x. Let us go to next sum which is the ninth sum, cos 3 pi by 2 plus x, cos 2 pi plus x, cot 3 pi by 2 minus x plus cot 2 pi plus x is equal to 1. This is 3 pi by 2 which is odd, which quadrant plus fourth quadrant because 3 pi by 2 plus x fourth quadrant all school torture children cos only positive. Yeah, so this is positive, but it is odd integral, so cos will become sin, so sin x. Let us look at this, it is 2 pi plus x which is first quadrant and this is even integral cos will remain cos so cos x into what about this 3 pi by 2 minus x which is the third quadrant all school torture children this is odd integral so it cot will become tan x this is even integral 2 pi plus x which is the first quadrant correct 2 pi plus x in the first quadrant so it is just cot x because uh, even integral cot will remain cot sin x into cos x to sin x by cos x plus cos x by sin x on taking LCM sin x into cos x sin x cos x will be your LCM and you will get sin square x plus cos square x which itself is 1. So, answer is 1. So, the, to prove that it is 1 and we have done it ok. So, you have such sums where you see this kind 3 pi by 2 or all the axes right 2 pi uh, 3 pi by 2. So, you know that you are going to apply odd integral even integral and look at the quadrant and do the sums. So, let us look at the eighth sum. So, what is eighth sum? Um, cos ok cos pi plus x cos minus x by sin pi minus x cos pi by 2 plus x is equal to cot cot square x. Again known axis pi, so even integral which quadrant uh, pi plus x is third quadrant all sugar t tan only is positive cos has to be negative minus cos x correct. Cos of minus x is cos x by even integral pi minus x is second quadrant sin is positive so sin x cos pi by 2 odd integral so cos will become sin sin x and pi by 2 plus is x is in the again in the second quadrant pi by 2 plus x will be in the second quadrant but sin only is positive the question is about cos so minus sin x correct. So, you will have a minus sin x so it is minus cos square x by minus sin square x. So, the answer will be minus cot square x that completes the eighth sum ok. So, do till here and then let us continue with from the seventh to the first sum in the first video next video.